we have a special guest in the building and our special guest name is Emeka Akumefule. I'm sorry for murdering that name. Born on 20th of, uh, 29th of January, um, popularly known, professionally known as Black Bones. He is a Nigerian rapper signed to 100 Crowns, an imprint of Chocolate City in 2019. He was profiled by the New York Times as one of the new guards of Nigerian music. Yes, I said it. He is widely known for his controversial self-proclaimed status as the best rapper in Africa. He's now back and freakier than ever with a new single called BBC, produced by Spax, the loved Soaked Truck borrows musical influences from the infamously hot and heavy Caribbean diaspora. As Black Bones crowns on about his multiple rendezvous, the track and Black's way of promoting it have certainly towed the line between risque and sexy as he treated fans to two tongue-in-cheek videos of his new pet, <laughs> which is a black male chicken. Please welcome Black Bones. And his chicken. Why are you going in black milk chicken? I wanted to correct you. You said you had one guest when you clearly have right. a guest. Right. So can you please? Do you have a... Do oh, have, the guest has your son. Did you brief... Yeah, no, yeah. That's your son. Ah, uh, yes, my boy now. Your, your child. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, BC Akumefule. Nice yeah. to meet you, BC. Uh, Sorry about that. Please welcome BC. Do you want to speak? <laughs> oh, he shook his head, no. Oh, mm. my goodness. And that's, like, that's a chicken, right? Yeah. Hmm. Live, live. Can I ask you a question? Is the camera showing my boy? Mm. <laughs> it's showing your boy. We've got you. Okay. Please, how did you source this chicken? I, I had to search through, you know, like the database of, you know, um, different adoption agencies <laughs> to make sure that I picked one that, you know, mental health was right. right. You know, had enough That's similarities important. with me wow. to you get so that we can... I can see the Compatibility hair. Compatibility like, is important. Yeah, hair. same yeah. color of hair. Mm -hmm. you know. All right, before we even go into oh, the sorry, music, hold on. okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you ever have to um, interview, I think this is the third time you're coming on tea time. Yeah, yeah? Mm. I kind of feel like we're joking. But now I kind of feel like we're team. joking, and you're joking, and then people tell me, "Oh, he's serious," and I just still take it as a joke. So. This chicken now, and yeah. you sourcing the database, is this still, what's the point of this side of you? Let me put mm. it that way, that you bring to your art. Because mm. you are talented, and right? And maybe if I, if I try to say the best rapper in Africa, they will come from my head because we have too many <laughs> contenders for that space. But you are talented. So why do we you do... We don't have many contenders. They are all way below me. Okay. okay. Yeah. So why do you do what you do? It's, it's just me being myself. When you mm. said this side, there's no side of me. This is me. Mm. You understand? This is me. Every side you look. You understand? Mm. So, you know, I have to constantly, you know, avoid trying to tailor myself to fit the stereotypes or the what people expect. You know, I'm just, I'm a guy that's different. So, yeah. Okay. Well, let, let's talk about serious things because yeah. um, before we brought So his you personality in, is not serious. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. Yeah. It is. And we can bring all your personality and yourself and your, your difference into this conversation that I want us to just touch really quickly. Like we've been talking about for the last God knows how long now, um, the state of the states and just the country at large with, this, with the NSAS protests and what has happened since then and the killings or the alleged killings like the media reporters want to use, um, the alleged killings and all that, how have you been feeling, especially you being in the category of a young Nigerian youth? This is obviously a lot more personal for us. So how, have, how has that been for you? Um, it's, been, it's been a crazy two weeks because... I've gone from like both ends of like the emotion spectrum or something. Like mm. I've been happy thinking we are winning to, mm. oh my God, <laughs> this government is just crazy. Mm. We are not going to win. So um, I just, I just, I feel bad that, that we are where we are right now mm. because this is not what I pictured how the protest was going to end. I thought the protest would end when we, we get everything we want and we decide that, okay, we've, we are no longer protesting. I didn't mm. think some people are going to die, then mm. the president is going to act like he doesn't care, then mm. we now realize again, something we've always known, mm. that the government doesn't care. Mm. So we just, so let's, you know, let's escape you, the country. Would you say the Nigerian youths were being delusional? So I think most... Especially for me, even while the NSAS protests were going on, I kept on reiterating the need for 
us to focus a lot on the 2023 elections because mm. that's what we just it did feels now. So far away, it though. feels far, but then like what we just did is us laying the groundwork and Absolutely. waking everybody up, everybody that has been asleep. Mm. We now know for a fact that this government is not the right government to take us forward. Mm. Like, so before, there were always arguments, oh, this guy is, is great, this other guy is great, this mm. blah, 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 APC, PDP, other argument. Mm. Now we know for a fact, but for a fact mm. that these guys, we have to get them out. So isn't that a win in itself? Mm. I feel like I see that as a win. That's, that's one win if we look at everything. Yeah. Mm. And, you know, um, in Lagos, they've set up a judicial panel. I've been following that. It's, they, they, they will start... Um, I can't remember what day, but I think it's... Well, it's supposed to be today. They were yeah. supposed to start, you know, sitting down and, you know, investigating matters. I think they're taking matters. their oats, um, they start taking oats like yes. an hour ago. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So I'm excited about that too because I believe that we've set up something that we can actually hold these people, like, accountable for mm. when, they, when they mess up. We didn't have that human rights council and that judicial panel before. So yeah. when, when a policeman does whatever he wants, there's nobody to even call him to order. Mm. In fact, the, the way the chain of command in police right now is crazy is when like, my guy Ojabi was carried, right? Mm. The governor was saying, release him. The, the next man, release him. Everybody, and they, like, it means these people, the chain of command is even broken. Yeah. They don't even listen to yeah. the people that are above them. Like, mm. if, if the governor has to struggle, lawyers, everybody has struggled to release somebody that is not charged with anything, that did not actually commit any crime. Mm. So, at least, that's that's a starting point for me. Yeah. I, I like that you ha you're quite personal with that, and I like that you also mentioned Dodger B, because I wanted to talk about your... Your, well, I say your uh, art space as working through this type of infrastructure, being a Nigerian and being an artist. I'm going to go to the BBC very soon, but mm -hmm. something like this now, does that inspire your, I would like say your, your need to make music around what is going on? Does this cripple that? How is that affecting your journey as an artist in this country? Sometimes, you know, sometimes some situations inspire you to create, but for me, like even one of my other friends we were talking about yesterday, like the whole situation just broke me down to the point where I wasn't even interested in making mm. music. Like my mind state wasn't like in tune with, you know, making productive mm. music and everything. So sometimes it just affects you in different ways. But yeah. one thing that I've personally decided is I've always believed in my mind that my success and my livelihood and whatever is not dependent on anybody. Like, mm. whatever the government wants to do, I'll work a way around it. Do you understand? I've never expected anything from the government mm. in my life. So I just know that I will put in work, I will, I will be successful for myself. Mm. Whatever happens, whether we win and we end SARS, if we don't succeed and not end SARS, like I'll find a way. Because mm -hmm. me personally, yeah, whenever... I see SARS operatives, right, when they stop me, you'll be surprised how calm I am, like completely. Like, I don't argue. I don't, like, even try to instigate anything. Like, they waste my time, 30 minutes, I'm showing them everything calmly, and I'm smiling, even as they are doing everything, because I just think that sometimes you can only control what you do. You can't control how this next person reacts. If mm. this person decides to pick up his gun mm. and shoot, the person's a terrible person already, yeah. right? But... I can only do my own best to mm. try to avoid Let, let, let me situation. jump in a, a bit because yeah. I like that you brought up um, the SARS yeah. people from your appearance alone. Yeah, I'm profiled all the time, <laughs> all the time. So yes. I'm used to it just when like, I'm calm as, as much as I can mm. because I just think that these people are crazy people. Mm. They can just, they are looking for the slightest reason yeah. to go crazy. But and, what you know, inspires this look? Up. Why did you choose? I like, I like it. I you like, like it. Like. Okay. Yeah, like let's let's like. talk about BBC. Though. And you know, my, my uh, boy likes boy, it too. Yeah. BBC Akumefule, yeah? yeah. But BBC, yeah. it's BBC not a guy, a girl's name. <laughs> a boy, no, yeah, that's what you're saying. It's not a boy. Unisex. But BBC, oh, unisex yeah. Yeah. okay, so, okay, BBC. And BBC in this contest is, is not the BBC we know, it's your song, a single. And I've listened to that. When did you write that song? January. January. Okay. So what inspired it? Did, did it come after you found BC or it came before? When? No, no, it came. During. No, when, when it came, that's when I realized that I needed BC, BC. in my life. Mm. You know, I had to search. Okay. I've been searching for months to find, you know, you know, be a, 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 a cock that, you know, 
and connects with you. me, you know. Mm. So like we've been going through a lot of paperwork yeah. and everything. Right. So this is adopted. Yeah. It's and if anybody flown does in, anything, flown in. it's a starboard. Yeah. International. Starboard. Okay. It's been so, all over the world. Green, I've listened uh, to the lyrics of BBC. Everything. I have, and yeah. I don't see anything that relates to chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> please, categorically, Explain. what are you talking about? <laughs> So Make it make BB, sense. BBC means big black cock. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. Mm -hmm. This is a big black cock. So mm -hmm. it, your girlfriend or the ladies around you enjoy the B big BBC. Big black cock, yeah. Didn't you see, there's the news recently, some nuns came to Africa, you know, and they're investigating them, they're pregnant. Mm -hmm. What do you think, how do you think they got pregnant? So it is BBC. Big black cock, yeah. Mm. Oh, cool. Like I like the, uh, the, the, you know, the, the, Plane of words that you're, that's going on with you, and a lot of people who seem to really listen to your music has said that you're quite intelligent with you know how you mess around yeah. with the words and play around with things and and all that. Do you think that you are undermined um, to your real capacity of what you can actually bring forward to the industry? Yeah, I, I I feel like you know there's so much that I can do. I'm just I know that you know this is my building. I'm, I'm laying the building blocks mm. for you know what I will eventually become because. Mm. No matter what, I will eventually become more than an artist. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. so, I like that. Yeah, so I'm just working towards that, laying all the building blocks and setting the foundation right. So, so if you feel you're being undermined, mm. don't you think things like this as well contribute to people undermining you no, or not no, taking no. you things seriously? Things like this even make you look at me, give me an extra look, right? Uh. Okay, you look at these guys, an artist, and you see he has a chicken, it makes you want to be like, are you bothered oh. about the type of look or you just want to be looked at? I'm not bothered about how you look at me. I'm being myself. You understand? I'm doing what I enjoy doing, what I'm happy about. So however you interpret it, that's Okay, your, BBC is a nice yeah. jam anyway, so you guys should stream but it. Forget <laughs> about the chicken. It's a nice one. How do you yeah. forget about my chicken? Because it doesn't have anything to do with the song. It does. It's the, yeah. the just songs enjoy the vibe. Go to all streaming platforms, yeah? <laughs> BBC, Black It seems like you are undermining enjoy. my chicken. I am, actually. Why? But for, <laughs> for animal rights... You have to, you have to realize <laughs> that Alice everybody like has you're a right. It. Everybody, they are chicken rights, hmm. too. Tell okay. them. They have know. rights. So I, I, don't... To be honest, I'm all about animal protection. Exactly. So, you know, Why the, are you... the first time I saw it, I wanted... Because be I know that now. this country doesn't have a very good rep he when it comes to... He said something that the chicken is depressed. Do you guys, animal rights people, understand that as well? He's hearing what you're saying and it's not making him feel good. As long as the chicken is being cared for and I like that it's in a clean cage and I've seen you carry it around you know take it really personally but you mentioned something when you were answering Elsie's conversation mm -hmm. and um, about you know let you know however they want to take it that type of, of, of attitude is good mm -hmm. for survival right but obviously with 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 us still living with other people that will cause conflict and I'm sure you've had a history of conflict with anything I know one conflict especially that I want you to touch on I don't know if I'm saying his name right calligraph Jones yeah, yeah. yes um, and I know that that's a very popular um, beef that's happened. Can yeah. you touch on what's going on right now? What's the update? Are you supposed to... No, we, are, we were never really, mm. you know, okay. at each other's necks in terms, like, in real life. It was just rap. That's what rap is. Like, right. I grew up, you know, rap battling. So, like, even my closest friends are people that have battled a bunch of times. You mm. get So, like, that was just rappers rapping. You understand? It's not like we had any actual mm. problem. We talked about... It it's before like we even did it. Thing. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, different. Okay. We, we actually said, okay, let's do this. You Okay, mm -hmm. you want to do it, let's do it. You guys, it's not like I woke up one morning and saw something out of the blue. You know, we it was like hip-hop or sports. So, yeah. Okay, but who do you think actually won? Because you both dropped this song. Do you expect mean, Black Bones to tell you something? That's, no, that's, I mean, you might be honest. You might that's, be honest. That's, that's the weird. <laughs> like, how, how would you that's think I'm the best rapper in Africa? For Black Bones. Like, okay. I mean, you can just surprise me and be like, no, oh, maybe just, you know, he, nah, since nah, it's just nah, art, isn't it? Nah, like, it's nah, not it's personal it's or whatever. A, no, no, that's my boy. You get me? Like, you mm -hmm. can't, you know, how can you win against Black Bones? Would you like to go on a rap battle with Vector? See, I'm the one guy in Nigerian industry, mm -hmm. one rapper, mm -hmm. that's willing. Every other person is scared. And mm. I don't know why they are scared. Mm. I don't get it. Why, what are you scared of? What is, what is, I, think, <laughs> I think maybe because I've been a battle rapper, so I've lost, mm. right? So when you've well, lost... you have. You, yes, now everybody has lost at some Amazing. point, right? So when you've lost, 
it makes you realize that losing is not the end of the world. Mm. But a lot of these people, they've never been in that position. So they are still so scared that maybe their career will mm. end if they lose the battle mm. or something. Mm. But me, I'm always open. I've challenged everybody. So do you want to challenge Vector again? Everybody. Can you give us a quick challenge right now, like a freestyle or something? No, no, I don't need to do that. Ah. I will tell what? you, come out, choose a location, no, and I'm everybody will gather. Like just no, 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 no. I don't, it's, it's like Where telling, like I always say this, is like telling Anthony Joshua when you see him on your show, say, oh, you are, you are a boxer, you are the heavyweight, I'll be, punch somebody no, now. Let's see. That's very different. Different. It's different. It's very different. It's very different. You see, very, very different. If, then you can ask me, okay, show me, um, let's see your catalog or something. You can't you you express... ask me to just come and start doing the sport. No. Can, okay, can you do something eh? from BBC? Yes, There's no rap line. song in BBC. Or line. No, rap line. no, as a singer song verse. for us on, just on, do a verse from, from BBC. BBC. Yeah. Your favorite line. We need to wrap up though. Yeah. Uh, what is this? Let me wait, wait. I, 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 what I'm saying, would you be censored? Is, no, we are live, you have to, I can't censor it. Censor I'm censoring my hair. Yeah. Take the clean ah, line. It's, it's going to be hard. Oh. The one that my favorite line. Okay, is the one forget your favorite line. Oh, okay. okay, just any line that's clean. Okay. So that's to tell you that that song is not clean. Can we just <laughs> yeah, end it? Not clean. But I made <laughs> a clean version. Chicken. But if I, it, it doesn't make so much sense. <laughs> okay, please, guys, check out BBC. Check out BBC. It's the hottest music from Black of the West. Year. Thank you so mm -hmm. much for having me. And BC, thank you for being so quiet. Um, yeah. You know, being a good chicken on this show. I wish Does we had come? more time, but unfortunately. That is all that we can take today. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Um, join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember that you can also catch up on our previous episodes, including this one and all our exclusive content, by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Mm -hmm.